Everyone needs to learn how to party, but first, you'll need to learn how to make cookies, how to play celebrity games, how to get your music legally, and don't forget to invite Miss Sontag. I'm Jack Nylund, and this is the Sun Weekly Review. Who keeps littering everywhere? I just really want to know who it was. If only I had a detective. It's been seven years since I've walked these streets with a magnifying glass. Never thought I'd have to do it again. I have word that some crook's been littering around these parts. Chief told me to take this case. He said I'd be the one to crack it. Wide open. Crack it like cracking a new bag of chips. Discarded wrapper. Courtyard. March 12th. No visible fingerprints. Detective Bravado, listen, we got a serious problem here. We got litterers, okay? We got a lot of litterers. Right? They're, they're trashing the school. Um, university school is a very reputable school. There's no reason why they should be trash everywhere. But somebody's going to pay the price. I want you to find out who's responsible. You got it, Chief. If only there was a way to trace the evidence. Wait, the security cameras. I could check the security cameras. Someone is leaving trash here, but who? Crazy car. The school's been after him for months. Looks like this bug's been squashed. Well, the culprit is obviously not just Carl. There are many more students that are guilty of this crime. Crazy Carl was just one of the bigger bugs. In order to stop this tragedy, we must get rid of the litter bugs. They are tearing the school's rights apart. If we don't put an end to this crime, there will be no reason we should ever have snacks again. Your school is a great school. It's great for many things. Crime shouldn't be one of them. You school, I will cleanse you of this crime. Kids these days have a lot of parties. Some are good, some are, um, decent. People today need to learn how to plan a good party. You ever had a disastrous party? Yeah, how'd you know? I'm here to help you plan the perfect party. Okay. The place, time. It can be at your house, playground, or a club. Keep for the party. It can be a princess party, a sports party, or even a luau. Great, I've always wanted a luau. With every great party, you need to have entertainment. Like what? Let's go with a DJ and a bullet dancer. Okay, great. Now what? Now that you have a place and a theme, pick a date and time. How about April 1st? Awesome. Now let's go buy our decorations. Okay. Place theme, and that's it. Now I'm ready to party. 
now you're ready to party. Miss Sontag is new to our school. Let's make her feel welcome by inviting her to our fiestas. Miss Sontag has spent most of her time at the university school working with the lower school. Although Miss Sontag enjoyed working at the lower school, she prefers it here. Having come from the lower school and being new to the middle school, she thinks it's a great experience to start working with older kids. She loves the middle school immensely and she thinks it's exciting to work with the kids she worked with in fourth grade. Ms. Sontag says that some differences between the middle school and the lower school are that the kids are more independent, they can do more work, and you can also teach them a higher level of work. Ms. Sontag's favorite part about teaching at university school is that she gets to work and interact with the kids. A good food to bring to parties is fast food, but what is fast food? In my opinion, it's not really that fast, and as a matter of fact, it's not really food. Do you ever wonder about fast food? Where does it come from? What exactly is it? Well, here's our investigative report on what fast food is. Fast food was first popularized in the 1950s in America. The origins of fast food are really the origins of street food. Fast food has always been associated with urban development, and this means whenever highly populated areas sprung up in history, so did fast food. Fast food is prepared in a record speed by method that is used in all fast food restaurants. At fast food restaurants, food is prepared at fast speeds for a reasonable price. Examples of fast food restaurants are McDonald's, Burger King, Chipotle, Taco Bell, Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, and Wendy's. There are many effects from this food. Extra calories, blood sugar spike, high cholesterol, shortness of breath, and everyone's favorite, acne. Now we know how it affects us. Who is actually eating this stuff? Do you eat fast food? No. I eat fast food. Yes. Yeah. Do you like chili? Well, Wendy's chili, they use silicone dioxide, also known as sand. It is used to keep the chili's texture proper for a long time. In this chili, there's also chemicals used to make cement. Do you like fried food? Well, after this, you may never eat it again. Dimitive polysilicone oxide is used in almost every fried food in America. This chemical is used to make silly putty and cosmetics. American spends around $10 per fast food meal. The average American spends about $1,200 every year on fast food. What is the usual amount of money do you spend at fast food restaurants? $100. <laughs> like, maybe $15. $15. Zero dollars and zero cents. To stay healthy and have a healthy digestion, try to stay with fruits, vegetables, and fiber. Although there's no food that's a 100% cure-all, fruits and vegetables will help out a lot. Cookies, a language everyone speaks. But how can you make this fabulous delight? And I have, I need to put some, one, a teaspoon of salt on the teaspoon. Okay, so we have our two cups and one fourth of flour that I'm going to put into this. Salt. Here's my salt. So I'm adding my baking soda to the mixture. So now I'm putting my eggs into my large bowl. I'm going to grab my butter. 
pop it in there. Then I'm going to add my sugar. And then I'm going to beat them together. In my mixture here, I have my butter, which I used a, a cup of. And I have my granulated sugar that I used three fourths of, and my eggs, which was two large eggs. And I'm using I'm using the flick of the wrist right now to mix my. Now I'm gonna add my teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now that this is all stirred up, I'm going to add three fourths of brown sugar. Now the flick of the wrist on. Making this the best cookie. All right, so now that I have all my ingredients wet and dry, I'm going to make them together and put my wet ingredients inside of my dry. <laughs> And um, I had mixed all of these. And um, thank you guys for watching. Putting in cookies are great, but if you eat too much of those cookies, you might gain weight. How could we can prevent it? Our next video is on pa Oh no. They're here. There are a lot of famous people. Do you know all of them? How well do you know celebrities? Believe it or not, many people don't know many celebrities. We're going to test people on their ability to identify celebrities. Noah, who is this celebrity? Um, that looks like Jack Black. I'm sorry, Noah, but that is actually Tom Cruise. So Jonathan Weisselberg, can you name this celebrity? Well, apparently, that is Tom Cruise. That is correct. Alright, Noah, can you name this celebrity? Ah, uh, that is Kevin Lowe. That is correct. And then can you answer the second question? Can you name the celebrity? Well, apparently, that is Kevin Lowe. That is correct. 
No, for the final question, I'm going to ask you, who is this celebrity? That is Beyonce. That is correct. Jonathan, can you name this third celebrity? Well, apparently, I'm going to have to go with Beyonce. That's correct. Now you know how to plan the perfect party. Remember, don't eat all the cookies and keep the music legal. And as always, it's not a party unless you invite Jack Limelong. And this has been the Sun Weekly Review. Yeah.